First question is from Sal Rules, Adam Drools, 420. <laughs> oh, my, this person couldn't this be guy, more, this person can be more fucking I bet lame. this is going to be a really good question. <laughs> yeah. I bet it's going to be good. <laughs> yeah. Can your hormonal profile affect where your fat is distributed on your body? Yes, next question. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I mean, it, it definitely can. Yeah. Like They'll find yeah. that men, when their estrogen levels uh, rise or are too high, They'll store more body fat in more feminine places, like on their hips or their chest. Yeah. For I shared example. this. Remember, I shared this when I was going through all this. When I uh, when I came off of testosterone, and I remember telling you guys that we talked more off air than on air. But I know I've mentioned it on air where I was like, "Man, you get a fat booty." I remember yeah, that. I was man, it was <laughs> jiggly. It was yeah. no, I, I got like around my my hips and my obliques, like just in. It was, <laughs> I remember when you told us that. I was trying not to laugh. Yeah, the way remember, you were I was like, "Bro, yeah. this is weird." I was just don't like what it, what I'm seeing right yeah. now. And in, in women, it's different. In women that will have like really high stress and high cortisol, they'll store it more in their gut mm. and in their belly. And they find in studies that women who store more body fat in the places that traditionally women, right, will store them, a the hips, butt area, will have healthier offspring and will have better health than women who store similar amount of body fat but in places where aren't tra they're not traditionally, you know, supposed to be storing it. So yeah, hormones can definitely play a role in in where you store body fat. And of course, it could play a role in how much body fat right. you store. Like the studies on yeah. on men on, because I know, you know, ever since working with, uh, you know, Dr. Rand and, and the their hormone clinic, I've done more reading on this and they'll do studies with men who will go on testosterone replacement therapy. So they'll go from low testosterone to high testosterone and they'll find that even without working out, they're just leaner as a result. Their oh, body yeah. will just burn more body fat. Yeah. Uh, so this could definitely happen. But th th what's the moral story? Just be healthy. Yeah. Right? Just be healthy overall. Well, it was interesting. I think I, I picked this question because so Courtney and I were actually like when we were down in San Luis, um, we were just people watching and we were at this pier and uh, these two guys were kind of walking by and it, they had more of like a pear shape, you know, and like, and she was asking me about that. I was like, oh, that's so strange. Like it didn't look like a normal fat distribution for, for men. Didn't you share a study a long time ago, actually, that they showed that, that like, like men that store body fat there had higher levels of estrogen? Yeah. I, I yeah. That's what I speculated. That. I was like, it was yeah, I think you shared that a long time ago. Yeah. And, and they'll show again that a person's body fat distribution will change <clears throat> based on the hormones. So there's definitely a genetic component, but the hormones also influence kind of what's happening. So like- And that can change. That can change, absolutely. So again, if you're unhealthy, then your body fat distribution will start to look a little bit off. And you know, it's funny, because body fat distribution generally tends to be a particular way, as a trainer, I remember early on being being able to accurately identify clients that had liposuction. Oh yeah, oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I was, I remember the first time this happened. I was early trainer, and I'm testing this woman's body fat percentage, and she's she wanted to hire a trainer because she wanted to lose weight. And I remember I go to test her bicep and tricep. So you know, one of the classic caliper tests is you do bicep, tricep, subscapula, right? So right below the shoulder blade, and then the suprailiac crest, right, which is kind of the, the crest of the pelvis here right below it. So I go, you know, I do all those. And then I get to the tricep and the tricep measurement for her was lower than the bicep measurement, which never happens. Mm -hmm. It never happens. Tricep measurement is almost always higher, especially in women, than bicep. And I tested it and I did it like several times. I'm like, this isn't right. And then just instinctively, uh, I'm like, have you had liposuction? And she's like, yeah. She thought I was like some kind of brilliant genius. I'm like, no, it's because... <laughs> Your tricep measured yeah, it lower than normally do that. Yeah, yeah, and when they do that, when they do liposuction, it doesn't change your body's ability to store body fat. It just does it in weird. I've ways. always thought that you look better too. You, I feel like you look better with a higher higher body fat percentage, more fat on your body, evenly distributed yes. than it, it taken in certain places. Mm -hmm. Yes, does that make sense? Yes, like I yes. remember I saying that to clients, like you know, I know you think that you want to do this lipo thing, but it it just doesn't look natural. It doesn't look right for you to suck. 20 pounds of fat only out of your gut or only out of your thighs because yep. then it looks doesn't look evenly distributed and just the way our body stores fat if you're healthy hormonally it looks like something's and off and then you have like yeah. pockets of it I've seen sometimes yeah. too where it's like yeah so it just doesn't distribute the same after that no no it looks it looks 
weird and can actually look uh, unhealthy a- as a result. Agreed. Um, so yeah, where you put body fat on your body can actually show uh, or display if you're healthy or not. And people will instinctively know this. You know, when female athletes, Adam, you, you might be interested in this, uh, high level female athletes tend to store less body fat in their limbs than the average female. So women tend to store more in their limbs than men do. Mm-hmm. And the, obviously it's because it offsets their center of gravity if they're pregnant or whatever. But female athletes at high levels, and this is probably a genetic thing, tend to be leaner in their limbs because it obviously leaner limbs frees you up to be more oh, athletic or whatever. Yeah. Huh. 